the crisis was very difficult for everyone and we suffered. Our companies, you know, our corporation suffered a lot. Are you optimistic today? I am optimistic on the future of our economies on a global basis. I think the resiliency in Europe has, has been an example for us all. Uh, I think Asia Pacific is very strong, especially China and India, where I've been doing business for over 25 years. I'm optimistic that technology and the network, the internet if you will, will usher in new forms of job creation, dramatically change health care, dramatically change uh, how education occurs. If you look at how we interface to our customers' employees today, you see it. I just came from a meeting six hours ago, and I'll go into it again in two more hours, where we have 120 locations around the world, 20,000 people looking at this technology, training our sales force, preparing them for where we need to go. We cut down our emissions by using this technology by 25% as a company, and we're able to move with tremendous speed to touch customers in Russia in the morning, New York by midday, over to Asia by the evening. I spend the majority of my time in a virtual room like this, and it won't be just business that uses it. This will be how you'll be able to deliver health care in France at a dramatically lower location to the home, how you'll change education to be able to share the quality of your teachers across classrooms. I think it will transform everything. So I'm the optimist in terms of technology's role in addressing many of the opportunities and problems. I do think, especially in the U.S., but around the world, business and government must work closer together to work through the economic challenges in front of us and to do the job creation we all know is needed for sustainable recovery.